Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, Soila. All right, good evening, everybody. I hope you have had a good weekend. So, are you on your way home, uh, Soila? Va de camino a casa o algo por el estilo? Yeah, because I listen to you and it's like not clear. Like if you're Hola, eating papá. a song. Oye, it... como ya gente, oiga. Ah. ah, okay. All right. All right, just give me one second. I have some issues in here. Ah, no, okay. Here it's your attendance list. All right, so. Good evening, everybody. I hope you have had a good weekend. Espero hayan tenido un excelente fin de semana. You know, like, I hope we have, like, you know, like, a good week with this. Uh, let's remember, just by this week, we have the, the end of this module. You know, like, since this is week number four. And as I told you, guys, as I told you, you're going to receive uh, the satisfaction survey probably tomorrow. Probablemente mañana o pasado mañana más tardar. Ya, yeah, probably. Uh, van a tener lo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Let's remember, right? Esa la vamos a hacer el último día de clase. Okay, and here, el viernes. So please don't do it. Don't do it eh, in advance, right? No, lo vayan, no la vayan a hacer así como que, you know, like, Antes, antes de tiempo, porque igual esto es, eh, es algo que nos, nos lo pide la empresa, que lo hagamos básicamente el último día. Okay, so, that's why I'm just clarifying that to you. All right. So, well, let's start. Let's start with the attendance list. We have some things. Let me see. To discuss today. So, let's start over this. Carlos Mauricio. Present. No, okay, cool. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. All right, she's not here. Let's move. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Ah, uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Are you in your house, Michel? En casa. Present teacher, aquí estoy. <laughs> ok, me ok. Quedó parado. De hecho, la que se quedó parada es usted, Michelle. <laughs> se quedó frisada. But anyways, let's continue. Uh, Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Ah, ok, excelente. Uh, le decía Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok, excelente. Let's move. José Antonio. Okay, nice. Uh, Jose Edgar. I guess he's on the way home. Mm, Juan Emanuel. All right, Juan Emanuel. All right, uh, Juan Gilberto. Gilberto, are you there? Present teacher. Ah, okay, cool. There you go. Let's continue, Julio Alberto. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Present, okay. present. Okay, nice. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's move. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Gerardo. Luis Gerardo is not here. Veronica Arely. Right, she's on the way home, she says. Wendy Jamilet. Wendy, all right, she's not there. All right, who, who got problems with the internet? Ah, okay, Michelle. All right. 
Let me see. Wendy Jaminet is not here. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Carlos Jose. Uh, Carlos is not here yet. And the last one, Soyle Guadalupe. Present teacher. Now, okay. voy, en camino, voy en camino, teacher. Oiga, sí que me puede sacar de repente el... la aplicación. Ah, voy, right. a, voy a estar solo oyente hoy, que voy de camino ahorita. Ok, no problem. No problem. Ok, cool. Let's continue with the things that we're going to be uh, working on uh, this week, right? Uh, let's remember this week, basically, we have the last five topics, actually four topics that we're going to be discussing. And um, today, right now, like we are going to start with a short feedback from the things that we were discussing, you know, like the previous week, the last week, right? All right, guys, do you remember what was the last thing that we were doing last week? Recordamos que estuvimos trabajando la clase, las clases pasadas, la semana pasada. Let's bring up some, some of those topics, just to start. Do we remember what were we practicing? Any volunteer? Eh, simple present y present continuo. Okay, what else? La present continuo sobre el WS question. Now, okay, very good. So basically, basically, last week it was based on present continuous, right? Básicamente todas las semanas estuvo basada en el uso de presente continuo, ya sea para hablar de futuro o para acciones en el instante. If you remember that, right? So we were talking about future actions usando las time expressions, right? Si recordábamos, usábamos el futuro usando el presente continuo, ¿ok? Usando las time expressions, las famosas time expressions. All right, can somebody tell me what were the most common time expressions that we were using? ¿Alguien me puede mencionar cuáles eran las time expressions más comunes que usábamos? ¿Que no eran guay? ¿Who? Uh, those are the WH words. Esas eran las WH uh, words. La, yeah, las time expressions. Con las que expresábamos futuro. Uh, um, Tomorrow, next week. Ah, next okay. week, next right. year. Ah, okay. Very good. So those ones were like the most common, right? Tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next month, next year, right? Tonight. You know, those were like the most common ones that we were using, right? Just to express future using present continuous, right? Uh, just, just to remember that when we were practicing present continuous for actions in the moment, we didn't use to use this type of expressions, right? Ya para expresiones que, que indican una acción en el momento, no las utilizábamos, right? Esas expresiones, uh, uh, you know, like the tiempo, right? So, but... If you remember, basically, those were like, you know, like the core structures that we were practicing last week, right? En alguna ocasión, en alguna clase, estuvimos haciendo una pequeña comparación entre el simple present y el present continuous. Si recordábamos, el simple present es básicamente para actividades que solemos hacer a diario, right? Actividades rutinarias. Like when you said, like, I take a shower every day, right? That's a routinary action that you generally do. Like I go to work, you know, uh, and present continuous on the other part. Let's remember our corrections in the moment, right? Of speaking, like for example, I used to say, I am teaching English to you. So that's an action in the moment of speaking, right? So in that case, that's, you know, like pretty different, right? Pretty different. Uh, inclusive as in estructura. All right, now we're going to start with a very different topic in comparison to those ones. Vamos a comenzar ahora con un tema muy diferente en comparación del que pues comúnmente estábamos viendo, right? Now it's just ways to report problems. Ahora sí vamos a hablar sobre formas de reportar problemas, right? This one is going to be a little bit different. 
as I told you, because in this case, we are not focusing on merely, you know, like uh, structures, right? We are focusing on how to record one possible problem. So check this out. This is, this is the one. It says, this is the video conference number 16. Remember that. And tonight's topic is going to be ways to report a problem, right? So that's the main topic that we are going to be like discussing tonight, right? Entonces, este es el tema que vamos a estar discutiendo esta clase. Formas de reportar un problema. Let's remember that in our job, generally we work with uh, uh, technology, items, computers, cell phones, Wi-Fi, you know, like we got routers and all those things. So let's remember that there is a time in which we have problems with those things. We have problems with cell phones. We have problems with computers, right? We have problems with Wi-Fi, right? So how do we do to report those problems? ¿Cómo hacemos para reportar esos problemas, right? And so in this case, we are going to learn uh, those little things, details. Entonces, en esta clase vamos a, vamos a ver un poco de cómo más o menos reportar esos, esos inconvenientes. Right? So let's start with that. What are the most, like, you know, like, meaningful things that we're going to be discussing? Like the main review from the previous topics, the things that we were discussing like a moment ago. Now, ways to report a problem, okay? And then we're going to do some exercises in the manual. We're going to be working in there because we'll have one conversation in the manual. And then we're going to check those exercises that we're going to be doing in there, okay? So this is like the most remarkable thing that we have uh, uh, for tonight's class. So let's move. Ways to report a problem, right? Formas de reportar un problema. What's the most common structure that we generally use to report a problem? Generalmente hay diferentes estructuras las cuales podemos utilizar para reportar un problema. Pero vamos a comenzar con, con la estructura que, agresa idea, que es como la más formal, right? This is like the most formal structure, just to report a problem, All right? Si hablamos de estructura, pues acá podemos ponerla. Check this out. En este caso, like in every sentence, you know, in every sentence, we start with the subject. Let's remember that a subject can be any pronoun or any proper noun, okay? All right? That's the subject. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to be asking questions tonight. Michelle, ¿cuáles serían los posibles la, cuando hablamos de subject? ¿Cuáles serían esos posibles subjects que podríamos utilizar en oraciones? Mm, uh, I. Continue. Hey, you. They. Ah, okay. All right. We can use they. Those ones. Those are pronouns, right? Now, now tell me. Besides the pronouns, what else can we use? Mm. He, she. Okay. It. All right. All right. Those ones are the pronouns, right? Esos son los pronombres. Aparte de los pronombres, ¿qué más podemos utilizar? Okay. Uh, internet. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I'm uh, talking about the subject. The subject. Estoy hablando uh, del subject. ¿Qué otro subject puedo o, o necesitar o usar aparte de los pronombres? Eh, como la computadora, no sé. Mm, ok, ok. O la impresora, por mm -hmm. ejemplo. Mm -hmm. No, ok, ok. At the beginning, como un, su, como un sujeto. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can use it that way. Pero, ¿cómo se le llaman a eso? Cuando mencionamos la computadora, si okay. mencionó el nombre de Elvi, si mencionó a Julio, William, en una oración. ¿Cómo se le llaman esos? Tercera persona. Ah, uh, yeah, en ese caso, uh, yeah, tercera persona, right? Pero, pero, ¿cómo se le llamarían como un subject? Un subject. 
¿Qué clasificación sería eh, esa? Los nombres cada... propios que se le ponen. It. ¿Para en inglés? ¿Para en inglés? Eh, numbers. Ay, propio, no me acuerdo cómo se ve. All right, all right. Listen, todos tienen no, 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 like partes de razón. Ok, no, esos no son pronombres, William. Son nombres propios, all right? A, a eso se les conoce como proper nouns, nombres propios. All right? Eso. We have been discussing that one, all right? Se les conoce como nombres propios. Es cuando ya colocamos el nombre, por ejemplo, de una persona y evitamos los pronombres. Se les conoce como. No, no, no. Proper nouns. O nombres propios. Ya cuando decimos William, right? Like Carlos, you know, like those are proper nouns, nombres propios, right? Or the computer, right? Ya esos no son pronombres. Ah, y pues ya en estructura se les conoce como subject, okay? Then we got will. Will es una estructura que en el siguiente módulo, right? If everybody is here, vamos a, vamos a ver un poco más detenidamente. Will es un verbo auxiliar dentro de la rama de los verbos modales, right? Es un verbo auxiliar que básicamente viene a modificar el verbo, right? Y es básicamente una pequeña parte de modificación del verbo que se le conoce como IA al final del verbo. Si decimos will like, ¿qué es like? Gustar. 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 Pero si decimos would like es gustaría. Gustaría. All right, like would we'll love a María. So you see, will eat comería. So that's, that's the way how it works. There's a structure, you know, inside the whole, the whole component. So that's, that's, that's the meaningful use of this, this you know, like uh, moral verb. So that's wool, all right? So in that case, it's like, like, you know, that's the main verb in este caso, all right? And then report, that's a uh, part of the structure. And then a problem that in that case, it can be the complement, right? So this is the way. Now, check this out. In this case, I'm gonna put the mouse. Version. Check this out. We got an example here. I would like to report a problem with my laptop. Right? Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi laptop. All right. So the whole sentence is related to how to report a problem. It doesn't turn on. It says, it, it's the it. Listen. Este it hace referencia. Give me one second. Yeah, I mean, this one. Este it que tenemos acá hace referencia a la laptop, ¿ok? Para no volver a repetir la palabra laptop, ponemos it, porque es algo, all right, inanimado, un objeto, right? It doesn't turn on. What is turn on? No enciende. No enciende. Exactly, right. Just turn on is encender. There you go. Thank you. It says, no. it doesn't turn on. Ah, no enciende. Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi laptop. No enciende. Right? So in that case, ¿qué estamos haciendo ahí? De una manera bien polite, bien educada, you know, like very formal, estamos reportando un problema. Right? So that's the way how this structure works. Right? Entonces, esta es la manera en cómo esta estructura uh, funciona al momento de poder reportar un issue, right? ya sea con uh, una computadora o algún otro, digamos, aparato electrónico que podamos usar, ya sea en nuestra casa o en nuestro trabajo. Right? So, this is the way. Now, let's see, uh, you know, like another couple of examples. Check this one out. Let me see. Who can help me out reading? Karen, help me out reading this one, please. I want to report an issue. 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 My Wi-Fi does not work. Okay, cool. 
Now, this one is another way to say it very formally, right? ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso, inclusive, ya estoy eh, separando el, el does del not. Ya no digo doesn't. Ya estoy diciendo does not, right? So, ahí estoy siendo un, un tanto formal in this case. Check this out. The word issue, this word that we have here, esta palabra que tengo acá, issue, es básicamente esta misma palabra. The same word. Ok. It's basically a synonym from this word. Issue and problem, básicamente son sinónimos. Ok. I want to report an issue. Ah, like, quiero reportar un inconveniente, right? So, you know, like an inconveniente is basically a problem. So, in that case, just for you to get to know with this. Right, it says, that's why it says, I want to report an issue. My Wi-Fi does not work. Ah, quiero reportar un inconveniente. Mi Wi-Fi no funciona. All right, so in that case, you are reporting, right? Something out. So, let's move. Y en ese caso, ¿por qué no lleva el Word ahí? Which Word. one? ¿Por qué no lleva el Word ahí en no, esa otra en oración? Este caso, en este caso, ya es otra estructura. En vez del Word, ya solo ponemos el verbo want. Es como para decir, quiero, right? Quiero. En este caso ya no estamos siendo tan formales al inicio de la, de la oración, right? Recordemos que con would ya es cuando queremos ser bien formales en algo, right? Esa es la única diferencia. So, entonces usted eh, acá puede hacerlo de ambas maneras en both ways are correct. Solo que la primera tiende a ser más formal usando would que la otra usando simplemente one. All right. That's the only difference. Esa es la única diferencia eh, entre estas dos. And there are more ways. En, en, ah. en tu report, en, dice, cuando es tu report, ahí se escribe siempre an issue. An issue. Eso, vaya, vaya. All right. Ajá. Yeah, en ese caso, ahí usted inclusive puede poner a problem. Cualquiera de las dos palabras es aceptable. Como le digo, issue and problem, son sinónimos. Cualquiera de las dos puede ir ahí. Yo aquí abajo puedo decir, I want to report a problem. También, y no hay ningún problema. Right? ¿Por qué? Porque las dos palabras están hablando de un inconveniente que usted tiene. Pero si voy a ocupar ese issue, tiene que ir la, la an antes, ¿verdad? Exacto. Porque acuérdese que comenzamos con una vocal, la palabra. All right? Por eso tiene que ir an. ¿Ok? Y no a. Okay, cool. Let's continue. I think I have another one. All right, this is another way. Check this out. Uh, Julio says, I had not reading this one. I had problems with my cell phone. Okay, just, just to put it an example, right? I have problems with. Esta ya es una manera mucho más informal de poder reportar un problema. All right? Simplemente decir, hey, look, I have problems with my cell phone, I have problems with my computer, I have problems with my printer, for example, right? So you have a variety of problems in that case that you can report. Pero ya esta sí ya es mucho más informal. Ok, simplemente digo, ah, tengo problemas con, y ahí usted menciona eh, con qué aparato probablemente usted tenga problemas, right? Pero como les digo, ya esta es mucho más informal, right, que las otras. De las tres, esta es la, esta es la más informal, right? That you can report with. Cool. Hasta acá, ¿vamos comprendiendo o hay algo que todavía no está del todo claro? I would like to clarify any, any doubt that you might have. So if you have questions, ask. Is everything okay? Especially for the people who are not with the cameras. I'm talking about Cindy, Jonathan, Wendy, uh, Olga is on the way home, mm -hmm. uh, Julio Alberto. Todo claro hasta acá? Are you there, people? Están ahí? 
Sí, teacher. ¿Verdad que las yes, tres teacher. formas son válidas? Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. What do you say, uh, Michelle? Eh, mi consulta es si las tres formas es válido. Yeah, aunque yeah, no I mean. sigan la estructura de, la, de, de usando exactly. Word. Exactly. The, the three ways are correct. Las tres formas son correctas, right? Eh, ahí la única, o sea, la única diferencia es que la tercera tiende a ser más formal, a más informal, ¿ok? La segunda es, like, un poco, eh, you know, like, informal, y a la primera es bien formal. That's the only difference, right? Pero las tres van encaminadas a reportar un problema. That's it. Ok. Cool. Okay. How many? Teacher, right. una uh -huh. cosa más. Yeah, eh, no sé si eso va, va, va a decir que, digamos, para decir, eh, tenemos problemas. Ah, no, en ese, sí. caso, en ese caso, lo único que podemos hacer ahí es cambiar el, el, el subject. En vez de decir I, podemos poner we. That's it. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y siempre se puede usar... Eh, no cambia el verbo, mantiene su misma no, forma. No, en case it doesn't change, exactly. En ese caso no cambiaría. Look, sería más no, o menos okay. así. Look, si, es, si lo quiere hacer de una manera súper formal, usted podría decir, we will, look, we will, let me see. We would like to report a problem. Right? Nos gustaría reportar un problema. Okay? So in that case, estamos siendo bien formal. And here, you can start with the explanation. Okay? We have to report a problem. Podemos hacerlo así. Like, tenemos que reportar un problema. A modo de, you know, like, de, de expresar algo de, de urgencia, por así decirlo. Okay? O podemos decir así también, we have problems with. Y acá mencionar con qué, you know, like device, you got problems. Con qué dispositivo usted puede tener problemas. Ok, teacher, thanks. All right, cool. Something else? That you might have questions with? Or are we okay up to now? Ok. If we are okay with this, have you ha have you report a problem before? In the place where you work, have you reported a problem once? ¿Alguna vez han reportado una falla o algo con el equipo que ustedes trabajan? You know, in the workplace, in el lugar de trabajo. Yes, okay. in this day. <laughs> this day? Yes, teacher. This day. Me too, me too. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. When you report a problem, what do you generally say? ¿Qué es lo que generalmente ustedes dicen al momento de reportar un problema? Or what do you generally do? Okay. Based on this. Basado en estos ejemplos. Basado en estos ejemplos. Dígame, I have, ¿qué han reportado? I have, a, I have a problem with my VPN in uh -huh. the computer. Ah, ok. You got a problem with the VPN in the computer. What happened with the VPN? Eh, it connects eh, the program. No, nah, okay, it doesn't connect. Yeah. No, nah, it's the program. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, that's cool. Something else? Anybody else? Aparte de William? Alguien más? Um, I have a problem with my autoclave. Ah, okay. Our password. I have a problem with my printer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, my printer gives a lot of problems. Generalmente son las que dan mucho más problemas, especialmente si tiene las multifunción, right? Uf. Si tienen ya un poquito de aire en los, en lo, en los cablecitos, ya no, ya no imprimió. That's it. <laughs> I have a problem with... UPS, UPS. With, with what, Elvi? UPS. UP, UPS. El UPS. 
Ah, uh, UPS. UPS. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, very good. Yeah, I reported that one. Cool. Somebody else? Teacher, y en yes. mi caso, que, ¿cómo sería para decirlo en inglés? Que no pude desembolsar un crédito. Okay. Es que así le llaman en el trabajo. Como generar los cheques. Ah, ok. That's the refund. ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Desembolsar, pero no es refund. Re, eh, no sé. Como mean. elaboración de cheque. Ah, so that's making cheques. Let's make a check. Ajá, es que como en el trabajo le decimos desembolsar, ¿verdad? Ajá. No creen. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Tuve problemas para elaborar cheques, sería, ¿verdad? Ajá, problemas, ajá. En making checks. Entonces sería, I have problem. Ajá. Me, make. Making checks. Checks. Ajá. Making okay. checks. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, you're a, you're a cashier, right? Michelle? Hola, ti. You're a cashier, right? Mm, no. Mm, cajero, no. Cajera, I mean, I mean, the, the, the ones who are in, in the bank, aren't you? No, no. Person? Ah, okay, cool. Es, es como, es de préstamo, pero... Es, es auxiliar de, de préstamo, pero ahí hacemos eso, desembolsar crédito. Ah, ok. Pero la palabra desembolsar no hay forma de decirla en inglés, no vea. Let me remind me from that one. <laughs> with with uh, numbers I need doesn't get a lot that much, but I will try to remember that word. Give me one second. Yeah, because in that case, my heart had to be refund, refundment, reembolso. Yeah, refund has to be. All right, thank you, Manuel. Yeah, refund like this. Pero, eso es, pero no es, no es reembolso, no. No, listen, listen, listen. Como nombre es reembolso, como verbo es desembolsar. Right? Mm. Yeah. Remember, one word can act as a verb and as a noun, okay? Okay. Sí, uh, yeah. Es primera vez que escucho eso. Somebody else? I might have an issue. For example, if you haven't had issues in your work, what else can we have uh, issues? For example, in the house, have you ever reported something from your house? ¿Alguna vez hemos reportado problemas en casa? Yo teacher. Okay, with what? <laughs> with the internet. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like me. All right, Jonathan, say. <laughs> Then I'm, I'm gonna say what I want to say. In el trabajo es, I have a problem, wash a bell on the pulley. Ah, ok. Eh, se revientan las fajas de la polea. <laughs> That's, that must be a big problem, Jonathan. No es problema. Ah, no, 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 I mean, <laughs> lo que estoy diciendo es que eso... Debe ser un gran problema, I mean. Sí, es que como donde yo trabajo es fábrica de concentrado para pollo. Ah. Y cuando okay. se revienta una, cuando se revienta una faja, tengo que subirme a una altura de 60 metros. Guay, man. ¿Y por qué tan alto? Como son los elevadores. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Man, but that's, that's too high. And you are the one who fixed that problem? ¿Cómo? Usted es el que generalmente, uh, I mean, uh, uh, digamos, eh, solvente esos problemas? Sí, como yo soy el supervisor de la empresa. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. <laughs> Pero sí. Sube alto, ¿no? 
Be careful when they jump, man. Just... Más para los que sufrimos de vértigo, güey. Eh. Eh. Ok, Jonathan, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, let me see who else. Karen, have you ever reported a problem? I have problems with my internet connection. Now, okay, I mean, that's the most common problem, right? That we report, especially in the house. Especialmente en la casa, es el problema como más común que se reporta. Especially if you have, you know, like, internet, like, like with companies. Especialmente dos que no voy a mencionar, va, pero que sí. Llueve y sabemos que va a llover porque 20 minutos antes se va la señal. <laughs> that's funny, man. That's funny having those, those issues. Uh, but anyways, we have, you know, like, we had to continue with those things, right? No, but that's, that's, that's nice. Uh, Juan, what are like the most typical problems that you report in your house or in your work? For example, um, I have problems with the light. With the light? The light, you mean? You mean you mean the electricity? Yes. Ah, okay, all right. That's, that's another one. No, de hecho, de hecho, ajá. antes de la clase estaba reportando ahí que no tenía energía ¿vale? y así como cinco minutos antes de la clase, psh, the energy came back. No porque iba a decir, no, vamos a cancelar la clase. ¿vale? No, but that's a big problem. If we cancel the class, it means that we're going to extend um, probably one day after vacation in nah, that man vacations are you know like sacred las vacaciones son sagradas y así que menos mal y no y no continúa el apagón that's cool all right Gilberto how about you man have you ever reported a problem Gilberto in the world Ah, yeah, I mean, it might be in the work or in your house. In the trabajo, digamos, I have problem, problem with uh -huh. the, the printer of, of tickets. Ah, okay. All right. As always, right? Printers giving problems. Yeah, I mean, that generally yes. happens. Y a veces las impresoras sienten el miedo a veces cuando uno está apurado. Para imprimir algo, huelen ese miedo que no tiene y es cuando más problemas dan. <laughs> yeah, man, it happens. Yes. Suele suceder. Mm. But anyways, that's the way how we do it, right? That's the way how we do it. Okay. And you, when you report a problem, people, do you usually do it angrily? Cuando reportan un problema, ¿lo hacen enojados? ¿Alguna vez lo han hecho enojados? Or like normal? Depends to the location. Oh, the big problem. Or oh, it's a more or less problem. Nah, okay. All right, good point. Soila? Soila wanted to say it's something. It's normal. I report Nor it's normal. Normal. Nunca se enojado, Soila. Reporting something. Cuando reporto, no, porque si no, no me van a ayudar. <laughs> but in your house, in your house, Ayla? Yo por eso estoy pagando el servicio. Ay, house. Like the typical quiet. In my man. house, yes. In my house, yes. Really? With, uh, with the no, sí, ah, okay. También, yo ya me he molestado y ha he hecho reportes enojadas porque... Me cobraban de Tigo, me cobraban y yo jamás he agarrado contratos contigo. Really? Pero a saber por qué tenían mi número y me hablaban hasta seis veces y les decía, mire, ya me tienen china, ya no me hablen porque ay, demasiado, sí, ay, de texto que me estén cobrando y, y, y máxime si no tenía yo nada con ellos. Pero... That was weird, eso era raro. But that sí. happens sometimes, that happens. Me, me mandaba un mensaje, su factura vence y yo, Dios, ¿cómo voy a tener factura si no tengo nada con él? 
That was weird. Eso sí era raro. Sí. No, nah, man, that generally happens, right? Generally happens with this with these companies and in, in, in everything. Por eso hay que tener cuidado que cuando se compra un chip fuera de la calle no prestar eso, no dar el número de, 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 de cómo se llama, del DUI, porque a veces le toman fotos y ahí hacen contratos ellos así extra. Ya para pasar las ventas, eh, eh, es para pasar ventas, quizás, ¿verdad? Y tenían mi número de teléfono, a saber, pero yo le decía a la señorita, pues... me, me hable porque yo no tengo nada con ustedes, le decía, averigüense bien. Pero ya me tenía en China, de verdad que me enojaron. Ya sí, eso, that's, that's crazy. Ya me imagínense hacer ese tipo de cosas. Mm -hmm. like, oh. sí. Ah, the people, man. People are special sometimes. Como las que llaman para decir que has ganado un carro en una rifa y usted nunca ha hecho nada. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. Y para cobrar el carro tiene que pagar 500 dólares. <laughs> Ay, this is funny. But anyways. Let's continue. Let's continue, please. Okay, look, look at this. Uh, like in a moment, we're going to go on the manual, and you have this in the manual, right? The things are in the manual. It says ways to report a problem. We have several ways over here, but these ones are like the most, the most common ones, right? These are like the most common ones. It says, I would like to report a problem. Pues podemos comenzar con esta, con esta, uh, digamos, estructura. Y como les mencionaba antes, esta es, suele ser como la más uh, formal, por así decirlo. El hecho de decir, I would like to report a problem. Podemos decir también, I would like to report an issue. Ok, and it's basically the same. Como les mencionaba, problem and issue, básicamente son palabras sinónimas. Ok, ¿cuál es otro sinónimo que podemos encontrar? Ah, esta palabra que tenemos acá. Trouble. Right? Trouble. What is trouble? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado esta palabra? No, teacher. Ok. Yeah. All right, Karen. What is a trouble, Karen? La problem. Exactly. Básicamente la palabra trouble es un sinónimo de problemas. That's what it is. Problem. Right? Es otra forma de decir problemas también. Ok. So, I have trouble with. Ah, tengo problema con. Right. Es básicamente como si yo dijese, I have problem with. Ok. So, the three of them are basically synonyms. Entonces, básicamente las tres palabras que tenemos ahí son sinónimos. Right. They are synonyms. And... Y aquí, pues, básicamente la, la primera la opción y la segunda suelen ser más formales que la última, right? Ya la última tiende a ser un poco más informal. Why? Because in that case, you are not being polite. It's just like, ah, tengo problemas con, and that's it, right? You are not being polite in that case. Pero las tres están básicamente encaminadas a reportar un problema. And remember, after those expressions, you can start describing your problem. Recuerden que después de, de, de ese como statement que tenemos ahí en cada una de ellas, podemos comenzar a describir el problema por el cual nosotros estamos, you know, like, like calling, llamando en este caso. Or even mentioning. All right, let's continue. Okay, check this out. We have some examples in here. Ah, uh, Cindy, can you please be so kind and read this one? I would like to report a problem with my cell phone. It uh -huh. doesn't not save picture. What do you do? Ah, uh, what do I do? Ah, uh, perdón. What do I do? Ah, okay, very good. What does it mean in this case? Ah, I would like to report a problem with my cell phone, it says. Ah, me gustaría reportar un problema con mi celular, it says. It does not say pictures. Ah, no me guarda las fotografías, right? What do I do? Ah, ¿qué hago? So in that case, right? So this is a way how to report uh, this type of issues. Now, this one is like, you know, like in a very formal way. Now. The second one, 
this one is like not that really formal. Jonathan, help me a reading. She has prob problems why her computer is, is slow. Okay, her computer is slow. Okay, in that case, it is slow. So is that a problem? Yeah, right. So in that case, this is the way. But in this case, you know, like the way we're putting here, like she has a problem with her computer. So in that case, this is like kind of informal, but it's acceptable, you know, too. If you're gonna take, you know, like a screenshot from this one or write it down, I'm gonna take it like that and you can put it. Copy that part because at the end we're gonna do an activity. Copy that porque al final vamos a hacer una actividad que al, esta la van a tomar como ejemplo. Okay? Para crear ustedes. Listo, teacher. Okay, perfect. There you go. If you have already finished, let's continue. Just let me know when you finish writing, okay? Hey, for the people who live in San Salvador, is, is that true that it was raining today? Es cierto que estuve lloviendo ahora. Early. Yes. Ay, qué. Yes. Good morning. Uf, qué genial. Men, acá en Oriente, gran calor. Qué genial. That was nice. Algún día va a llegar acá. Pero anyway, mm. let's continue. Let's continue. Check this out. Common issues to report. This is another way. Ah, aquí ya estamos hablando de problemas que por lo general reportamos. Uh, let's see three of them in here. The first one, Juan Campos. Help me already, please. It does not seem to work. Okay, thank you. It does not seem to work. What is that? What do you think is that? It does not seem to work. Parece que no trabaja. Excellent, thank you, Karen. Right, that's the way. Parece que no trabaja. Sim es parecer, right? That's the verb, parecer. So in that case, it's like, ah, parece que no trabaja, right? It does not seem to work. There you go. Now, let's continue with the other ones. Jorge, tell me already. It makes a strange, funny noise. Okay, it makes a strange, funny or funny noise, right? Ah, hace un sonido extraño o un sonido gracioso, right? So in that case, especially the, the, this happens with computers. Entonces, esto suele suceder con las computadoras o con algún otro, like, you know, like device dispositivo que podamos estar usando ya sea en el trabajo o en la casa. Okay, and the other one, the last one. Let me see, Carlos Camero. It does not turn on. Ah, okay, it does not turn on. Okay, remember, turn on means encender algo, right? That's turn on. Okay, in this case, it says it does not turn on. Ah, no enciende. 
y que ahí la estés en no enciende. Como cuando vamos a hacer algo en la máquina y de pronto no enciende. Ya, that, that, that generally happens. Now, okay, cool. So these are like some of the ways, as I told you, that we can report an issue. Okay, let's continue. What are we going to do now after, after these type of things? Questions to discuss. Creo que estas preguntas sí las voy a dejar al final. Porque estas sí lo vamos a hacer uh, in the manual. Nah, esta lo vamos a hacer en el manual. Let's go to the manual, people. In that case. Give me one second. I'm going to put the manual in the page that we're going to be working on. So it's going to be page 39. Okay. If you have the manuals open, let's go over page 39. That's the beginning of unit number four. It says, through, my, uh, through phone calls, we're going to make a report about problems. Check this out. This is the one that we're going to be, you know, like talking about. And in here, if you see, we have a short conversation. Acá pues tenemos una conversación bastante corta, por así decirlo. But, but, you know, like necessary to practice, okay? It says, this is a conversation, look at this, between Peter and Robert, right? What are we going to do with this conversation? We're going to practice them as always, and then we're going to, you know, like, go over the breakout rooms just to practice a little bit, especially the pronunciation of the words. Okay, just to gain fluency, as we have been practicing before. Okay, let's start over. It says, Peter, look, good morning. Good morning. This is Peter. Listen, this is Peter from Tech Support. From Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? All right, it says Robert. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. With my computer. It's a spirit. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? It's a problem. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. All right, and then it says John. That's enough. And then this case, let me see. It has to be Peter. Aquí se equivocaron. En vez de Peter pusieron John. Sorry about that. It says, I see. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. With this short conversation that we got over here. Any question with the vocabulary from here? Alguna pregunta con el vocabulario? Teacher, en donde dice I like, ah, ¿qué okay. es lo que se contracta ahí? Ok, básicamente acá lo que contractamos es el will. La idea es, básicamente acá es como teníamos anteriormente. Es básicamente como que yo tenga I will. All right, ya contractado, ya es I on that. Okay, lo único que hacemos acá es que en el, en, el, en el subject colocamos el apóstrofe y solo colocamos la D, all right, del final de la palabra would. Y decimos I. Eso es lo que tenemos contractado ahí, Michelle. Y siempre significa lo mismo. Exactly. Sí, simplemente es okay. una contracción, right? una reducción, unión de palabras. Okay. Yes. Ok, 
any other word that might be a clown for you? ¿Alguna otra palabra con la que tengamos dudas? O ya sea en la pronunciación o translation. Recurso humano, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Teacher? Ok, this one is human, human. Esta parte acá es como con H, eh, como que la pronunciáramos con J. Human. Ok. Resources. Resources Department. Okay, teacher. All right. Something else? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's remember the other one that we got in here. The, this one is, let me see. This one is like tech, not tech. Okay. Tech. This is the one in here. Tech. Tech support. Everybody knows that a tech support means soporte técnico. That is tech support. Okay. Soporte técnico. That's what it is. Okay, cool. If you don't have any other uh, question with the vocabulary, what we're going to be doing is just to create our own. Give me one second. Now, nah, okay, Carlos. Thank you for telling me. All right, what are we gonna do now? Let's practice this short conversation for a few uh, a few minutes. Pero antes de practicar esta esta pequeña conversación, me gustaría saber quiénes son los que estamos activos ahorita sin ser oyentes. Can you please turn on the cameras, please, at least for a moment, so that way, so de esa manera, me dan a confirmar que no estamos haciendo otra cosa. Ok, y que si estamos en la clase, let me see. Wendy, are you, are you there, Wendy? Aquí estoy. Ah, ok. Ah, you're in your way. Eh. Ok, okay. Ya, decía, ya, ya, ya decía Wendy, está doblada en la cama. Pero nada, you're on the way home. All right. Yeah, Julio, you about to say something? Eh, yo literalmente estoy en la casa, pero... Casi no puedo. Tengo problemas con la garganta. Así lo escucho. Ya, yeah, Sí, estoy escuchando y todo. <risa> Pero. Ah. Me cuesta un poco. Yes, man. Está como cuando estaba al principio mm. del módulo. <risa> That's like sí, volví a lo mismo. Sorry, man. But it's not COVID. No, ahora me hice la, ah. ahora me hice la prueba. Me salió negativa, pero tengo problemas con el, con el sistema respiratorio. Lo tengo inflamado. Es oh. lo mismo de la... Son secuelas de eso, me imagino. Ah, I guess. Yes. Uh, big problem mm. that, man. Pero se, se recupera pronto. Right, <laughs> no problem. You're not going to be like... Uh... <clears throat> Simplemente va a estar viviente, pero sí, no va a estar repitiendo la conversación porque así como que no va, no va a poder. Ya, yeah. bueno. Okay. ok, cool. Jorge, are you there? I don't think with your camera on, man. I yeah, am you're you. there. You're there. Cool. Gilberto, how about you? Hi, teacher. Ah, you're there. Ok, cool. I wanted to listen to you. Ok. Uh, so in this case, just Julio and uh, Jose Edgar are not going to be participating on this because Jose Edgar apparently is on the way home. So let's move to the breakout rooms. So let's start practicing this, this short conversation that we got in here, especially let's do it for the fluency and the pronunciation, okay? Then we are going to start with something that I would like to, you know, like complete with this. Uh, it's nine, basically nine. So I'm going to pass the attendance list before going on to the practice, because if we go to the practice, we, it's going to take so long. Let me see. Carlos Mauricio. Present. All right, Present. Perfect. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. All right, cool. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Present. Perfect. Stephanie Michel. Present. Nice, Gustavo. Nice. 
Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Antonio. Present. Very nice. Jose Edgar. Yeah, I mean, he's on the way home. Juan Emanuel. Present. All right. Juan Gilberto. Gilberto, are you there? Hello. Okay. I think he's not there. Julio Alberto. No, you're there, right? Present. Okay, okay. Julio Cesar. Present. No, okay, nice. And you see, Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, excellent. Luis Gerardo. Okay, he's not here. Let's move. Veronica Arli. Nani de Veronica. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, cool. William Ernesto. Present. Okay, excellent. Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. All right, Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Cool. Carlos Jose. Presentation. All right, excellent. And the last one, Soila Guadalupe. Presentation. Okay, nice. Cool. Teacher, disculpe. Yes. Este, partir la imagen para tomar, para tomar la captura, por favor. Lo ah. vamos a okay, hablar. okay. This is the one. Gracias, teacher, ya. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Give me one second. You're 19. Let's put this one. The creator. Give me one second. Give me one second, people. Hola. I'm just modifying some things in here. Give me one second. Okay, cool. In number one, it's just going to participate uh, Juan Campos and uh, let me see who else. What? Give, me one second. Give me one second. One second. Man. I'm just doing some changes in here. Okay, in number one, it's going to be Ivania, Jorge, and Juan. You three are going to participate, okay, in the, you know, practicing the conversation. Jose Edgar va a estar ahí, pero el, el va a estar de oyente, nada más, all right? Let me okay. Julio Alberto, ¿dónde está Julio? Ah, Jesus, I need to move someone. Necesito mover a alguien acá. Una mujer, Jorge. Yo entré. Carlos, Jorge, y en Julio. Let's not participate in. Okay, cool. Open all the, the breakout rooms, accept them, and let's go to practice for a couple of minutes. All right, let's enter to the breakout rooms and let's go to practice the short conversation.
Ok. Vamos. Cuatro. Give me one second. Uh, I'm going to sign. Ah, Verónica is coming. Permítanme, se está uniendo alguien más. Y I'm just going to be checking. Si Verónica se está uniendo, probablemente I'm going to move one from here. Voy a mover a alguien de acá, probablemente, ¿ok? Give me one second. Are you going to be as a listener, Veronica? Ah, no, me, you're in your house already. You got the microphone off. Hola, ya en mi casa. Ay. Ah, okay, you're in your house already. Give me one second. Ah, you're, you're in your house already. Ya está en casa. Ok. That's yes. cool. Perfect, perfect. Sí. Ok, cool. Eh, está trabajando ahorita en una... Dime, Vance, con una pequeña conversación que tenemos ahí. En el inicio de la unidad 4. Yo so, voy a mandar a alguien para acá para que pueda practicar con usted. Ando haciendo... Permítame, voy a ir por alguien. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who are the ones who are active here? Uh Wendy, are you participating? Sí. Yes, okay. Ah, uh, es que tengo a otro integrante acá. So Ivania que se quede practicando con Juan, okay? La voy a enviar a usted. Vaya, vaya. Okay. vaya de acuerdo. All right, nice. Okay. Juan. Hey, what is Ah, no, she's coming. All right, there you go. So you have the, the participant in here that you can practice with, Veronica. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice. So, Wendy, Hello, are you there? Wendy. Are you there, Wendy? ¿Qué página es, teacher? It's page 40, no, 39, 39, página 39. Okay. We don't listen to you, Wendy. Vaya. Ahora sí, Wendy. Vaya, vamos a ver, yo soy. Ah, yeah. okay, sí, yo aquí estoy, ¿me escuchan? Yes, 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 ahora sí. Ok, Bye. cool. Bueno, las dejo practicando, ok. Gracias. Sí. Aprenden en, en el camino. Pues sí, ya. Hello, teacher. No, no está. No está, man. Share experiences. Sorry to be late, teacher. Mm? Sorry to be late. What happened to you? Late from work? Sí. Ah. Eso le decía así como que estaba, venía tarde por trabajo, el gran tráfico que está ahorita, porque la gente como acaban de pagar, entonces esto van en el súper, en el restaurante, entonces, gran tráfico, ¿y usted? Sí, ya me imagino. Abarrotado. Sí. Acá día de pago no se hace así. Acá lo que se hace así es el día sábado. Uf, horrible, man. Horrible, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. All right, ya so estamos, ya, you're ready? Ya estamos, ya oh. estamos ready. Okay, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to be checking another group. Give me one second. Okay. Sure. Okay. Nice. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? I doesn't seem to go. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay, comienzo yo. Okay. Tu, tu. From the human resource 
department. I like to support a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't send to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Ask you some questions. Okay. My good morning. This is Peter from Tech. Good morning. This is this is Peter from Tech Support. Who can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to... Computer. What do you see, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Excellent. Mm. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. Vaya, entonces empiezo otra vez. Sí. Vaya, ustedes usted pueden empezar. Sí. Good morning. This is Peter from this support. How can it? What happened here, Ivania? I told you we're practicing. Ivania, are you there? Eh, se le fue la señal, creo yo, Juan, porque se desconectó. Oh, sí, es cierto. Entonces, Ay, Juan. Me quedé, me quedé ah. hablando sola. A mí bien. <ríe> no, bueno, pero vamos a ver si tal vez restablece la conexión, ¿ok? Vamos, vámonos okay. entonces a la sala principal. Creo que sí, ya terminaron los demás. All right, okay. and let's, let's practice that. See you there. Okay. Teacher, este ya sería la última semana, ¿verdad? Hola. Esta ya sería la última semana, ¿verdad? De clase. Yes, yes, basically. Ah, pues el viernes todos vamos a reunirnos a, a comernos una pizza entonces para como despedida hoy. <risa> ok, that would be cool, man. That would be cool. Sí, yes, man. Verónica invita, dice. <risa> ok, let's wait. No, es demasiado. Más se come mm. mucho. Mm. ¿Qué pareció? Stingy person, man. Tacaña. <laughs> uh, were you coming to Oriente, Veronica? Perdón? Were you coming to Oriente? Sí, por fin volví después de mucho tiempo. ¿Dónde específicamente? En Morazán. Juela, dice Juela Morazán. <laughs> Ah, pues sí, fue un buen, super, super, super largo viaje. Y mi buen sí. Ay, miren, Emanuel ya reportando un problema con Zoom. Yeah. You see, I mean, this is the way, you see. Now he's reporting that he cannot enter to Zoom. Jesus Christ. ¿Qué le pasó a él? Give me one second. Let's restart the device and try again. Okay, cool. Let's continue. I'm gonna share. I'm sorry, people. I have been with a, a bad internet, apparently. He tenido problemas con el internet. Jesus. All right. 
Ah, uh, can you listen to me, everybody? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes, yes. No, ok, cool. No, I mean, I've been having problems with the internet. So I would like to report that I have problems with the internet. So that's why I got disconnected. Ok. Por eso me desconectó esta cosa. That's weird. But anyways, we're going to continue. Espero que me funcionen los datos del celular. Yeah, I mean, we're with the phone. Give me one second. But well, it's going to be working. Jesus, but I don't see that you're moving. Espero podamos. Give me one second. I hope this works. All right, just give me give me one second, people. Okay, give me one second. I, I'm gonna restart the the device in here. Okay, teach to you time. Now, okay, apparently this problem has been solved. Creo que sí, el problema se solucionó. A ah, las disculpas del caso, pero no sé qué le pasó a esta cosa. Ah, problems with data and like all the time. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. This is the conversation that we were practicing, okay? This was the conversation that we were practicing. So I'm going to start with. Give me one second. I'm going to open this up. Uh, Carlos Chavez, let's, I'm gonna start with you, man. Who were you practicing okay. with? With Jorge. Ah, okay, cool. Let's start over. Okay, Jorge. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Now, okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos and Jorge. Okay. Now, let's see, okay. Xiomara. Who are you practicing with? With Jose Pineda. Ah, okay, cool, let's just start over. Jose, are you there? Good morning, this Peter from the Super Hockey. It helped you. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Is he lit? Lit? As you some questions. Now, okay, I see. Let me ask you some questions. Thank you, Jose and Xiomara. You did it excellent. Now, <laughs> Michelle, who were you practicing with? What is Michelle? Amigo, teacher. Ah, yeah, I mean, it's all okay. Pensé que se había hola, hola. Ok, sí, Michelle. Me conectó. Sí, con, con Gilbert. <laughs> ok, let's start. Ok, good morning. This is Peter from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem 
with my computer. What is it, Robert? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. And Gilberto, now LB. Karen? Good morning. Oh, with Karen. Okay, let's go over. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Elvin Karen. Now, Carlos Damero. Miss William. Conmigo, teacher. Okay, cool. Let's start. Interesa con la escuela que te toca. ¿Qué soy yo? Ah, uh, Carlos, let's start. Yeah, I mean, let's make Good Carlos. Good morning. This is Peter from Text Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Where is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Now, okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos and William. Now, let me see what's next. Uh, 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 Wendy and Veronica. Right? Yeah. Wendy empieza. Now, okay, good. Good morning. This is Peter. Frontex support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, cool. Thank you, Wendy and Veronica. Now let's move uh, uh, uh Soila. Hello, teacher. Con Julio. Ah, okay, cool. Comienza, Julio. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I can help you? <laughs> Hi, Peter. This is this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, cool. Let me ask okay. you some questions. Nice. Cindy. Co Jonathan. Conmigo. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Day Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Records Department. I like to report a problem by my computer. What is it, Robert? It does see to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, some questions. Okay, cool. Thank you, Cindy. Jonathan. Now let's move on. Uh, who's missing? Let me see. Ivania. Are you there? Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Sport. How can how can I help you? I can help you. Hi Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the human resources department. I like to report a problem with my computer. Was it, it Robert? 
in that case it work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Now, ah, okay, perfect. Let me see who's missing. Mm -hmm. Jorge, do you participate already? All right. Ya participó, Jorge. ¿Qué es el chico? Carlos Chávez. Oh, yeah, man, it was with Carlos, right? Okay, I think everybody has already participated with this. It was not that difficult, right? It was very uh, short conversation. Let's try to move on with this information that we're going to have in here. Check this out. This is a pair discuss. Now, it says, look at this. What is the issue? It says, this is a pair work, as I told you. It says, get in person discuss. We're going to discuss a little bit these things. It says, what is the issue with Robert's computer? How does he report a problem? It says, check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Okay, talk to two colleagues and compare your tables. Look at this. In this este case, we have a list here de possibles problems por las cuales nosotros podemos llamar a support técnico. Okay? Tenemos new software. What is that? Everybody knows what is a new software, right? Un nuevo software, un nuevo programa. No internet access. When you don't have internet. A virus. Deleted files. Archivos borrados, right? Paper stuck in printer. A ah, papel atorado en la impresora. That is a possible problem that people might call tech support. And then it says USB ports out of order. Uh, funny noise in the CPU. Okay. And the other one, frozen the screen. Right? Esto por lo general siempre sucede eh, más que todo en las computadoras. Right? Que se queda la pantalla frisada o no responde. Okay, cool. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a hacer con esta parte? Listen. En esto lo único que vamos a hacer es marcar. Okay, listen, from one to the last one. How many are they? You see, four. Okay, cool. De la uno a la ocho, ¿cuáles son los casos para ustedes los más comunes? ¿Cuáles son los casos más comunes por los cuales llamar a tech support? Los más, que, que se reportan más, por así decirlo. ¿Cuáles son los que menos se reportan? That's the only thing that you're going to be doing here. Es lo, lo que vamos a estar haciendo ahí en esa parte. Para luego pasar a este pair work in here. Vamos a comenzar con eso. All right, when you finish, just let me know, okay? Cuando lo termine, simplemente me lo dice. All right, and so we are going to compare. Yes. Dijo de que la uno iba a ser la, la, la más que más o la que menos. No, es la que más por la que más llaman. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. okay. En la ocho es como la que menos llaman por esa razón. Ok. All right. All right, just let me know when you finish, okay? So you can you can start telling me what is your list. Yes. Me se fue la luz un ratito y me sacó. Ha dado alguna indicación. 
Ah, ya, yeah, en este caso, me voy a hacer indication. Leme, dime un segundo. Ahorita, uh, ¿puede ver mi pantalla? Sí, yes. Ok, cool. Estamos mencionando que estos son posibles problemas, ok. These are possible problems. Eh, por los cuales nosotros llamamos a soporte técnico. Entonces, acá lo que pedía es que marcara del 1 al 8 cuáles son los que más se reportan y ya los de, al 8, digamos, el que menos se reporta en soporte técnico. ¿Cuáles son los más comunes y los menos comunes? ¿Cuántos reportamos? Pueden ser... Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, mire, si usted dice que... Generalmente se llama soporte técnico por una pantalla frisada, por una pantalla okay, que, no, que no funciona. Acá, vamos a colocar el número uno. A este. Si después dice usted que por lo general se llama soporte técnico porque no hay internet. Ah, entonces sería el número dos. Y así sucesivamente. ¿Ok? Hasta llenar, hasta llenar los ocho Exacto. problemas. Exacto. Okay. Yes. Este, bueno, pero vamos a hacer esos problemas comunes Usando solo lo que vemos aquí en los cuadritos. Ya, yeah, dos. Uh -huh. yeah. Porque luego más adelante sí vamos a hacer otra cosa, pero ahí sí ya va a colocar los suyos. I guess some of you have already finished. Carlos Gamero, did you finish? Yes. Cool. Podría leer la lista que usted tiene del, del que cree que más se reporta al que menos se reporta? Number one. Paper, stock, and printer. Ah, okay. Number two. No intern access. Mm -hmm. Number three, new software. Okay. Four, a virus. Virus, okay. Five, funny noise in the CPU. All right, funny noise in the CPU. Number six, USB ports out of order. Okay, USB. Seven frozen screen. Eight delayed files. Deleted files. Okay. There you go. That's the way your your perception. Thank you, Carlos. Elvi. Uh, number one. No inter, inter, internet access. Ah, okay. Number cool. two. Uh, Paper stuck in printer. Mm, number right. three. Frozen screen. Number four, new software. Number six, you is USB ports out of order. Okay. Uh, del ah, delete files. Delete files. That's a, the last one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y falta una vea. Ah, um, a virus. A virus. A virus. Okay. No, okay, that's your list, that's your list. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Somebody else Yo has teacher. already finished? Yo okay. Teacher. Okay, good. Okay, Number one, then. no no internet access. Okay. Number two, paper stop in printer. All right. Number three, new software. Number four, funny noise noise in the CPU. Okay. Number five, frozen screen. Number six, delete files. Uh, number seven, USB uh, ports of folder order. Mm -hmm. of, no, of order. Out of number order. eight, a virus. A virus. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, generally. Cool. Somebody else that has finished? Your teacher. All right, Carlos and the Cindy. Okay, the first one, no internet access. The second one, frozen screen. The third one, funny, uh, funny noise in the CPU. Okay. 
uh, number four, a virus. Number five, paper stock in printer. Number six, USB ports out, out order. Number seven, delete files. And number eight, new software. Now, okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Then, all right. Cindy? Um, number one, no internet access. Number two, uh, a virus. virus uh -huh. Number three, paper paper struck in printer. Number four, funny, no, no, funny noises in the CPU. Okay. Number five, USB port out of order. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Number six, new software. Number number seven frozen screen in number eight delete files deleted files okay cool yeah i mean it's poco probable que eso suceda el hecho de borrar archivos that's cool thank you cindy somebody else alguien más any volunteers okay juan campos okay and then soila Okay. Uh, number one, no internet access. Okay. Number two, uh, new software. Number three, funny noise in the in the CPU. CPU. Number four, uh, virus. Okay. Number five, uh, delete delete files. And number seven, paper storing printer. Okay. Uh, Yeah, you know. Ok, cool. Ah, la gran mayoría, pues básicamente tienen como like priority el hecho de reportar que no tienen internet. <laughs> es lo más común, right? Inclusive en clases, right? Sí, yo, se me fue el internet. ¿verdad? Y that happens. That's true, that happens. Y eso que todavía no estamos en invierno. En invierno es más divertido. A veces estamos en plena clase cuando de repente. ¡pum! Se fue la energía en everything, en every place. Y eso se tiene que suspender hasta la clase en everything. Ah, pero vamos a ver what happened next. Cool. Thank you, uh, Mr. Now Soila. Um, paper is truck in printer. Truck in printer, okay. Uh, no software. No internet access. Okay. Um, Delete files. Deleted files, okay. A virus. Virus. U USB port out of order. Okay. Funny, funny noise in the. In the case. CPU. In the CPU. He frozen screen. Ah, okay, frozen screen. Aunque okay, frozen screen por lo general son bien comunes cuando está haciendo esa actualización o cuando hay virus. That's uh, oh. estresante, right? Stressing. But anyway, but anyways, that's part of life as workers. Cool. Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Uh, number one, paper stroke in print. In print. Y ah. ese es every day. <laughs> really? <laughs> sí. But, uh, number two, no internet access. Okay. Uh, number three, a virus. Number four, delete files. Delete files. Uh, um, new software. Okay. Uh, USB port of, of order. Out of order, there you go. Um, frozen screen. Okay, and a frozen screen. Okay, cool. Thank you, Stephanie. Somebody else? I just want one, one more participant. Just one. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Number one, no internet access. Number two, 
All right. Number two, paper stock and printer. All right. Number three, a virus. And number five, use the word out of order. Okay. Number six, planning out in the CPU. The CPU, okay. Uh, number seven, delay field. In number eight, personal screen. Ah, okay, very good, personal screen. Thank you, Vanya. All right, listen up. I know that we are like basically talking about the importance of how to report a problem. And these are like the most common ones. But now, listen up. Personally speaking, what are the common issues you have, uh, you know, like in the workplace? Okay, now what are we gonna do? It says, write down the most common problem you have with the equipment in your office. It says, you and your classmates have in common in the middle section. That's an app. Vamos, como vamos a estar trabajando en parejas. All right, right, Elvis? <laughs> okay, in here, supongamos que Elvis está trabajando en esta parte. Supongamos que soy la está trabajando en esta otra. Okay, listen up. Dejando la parte de en medio. Listen, listen. In this case, if Elvi, si Elvi está trabajando acá y soy la acá, acá ustedes van a escribir los problemas que comúnmente ustedes reportan en su lugar de trabajo. Ok, ¿cuáles son los más comunes? ¿Cuáles son los menos comunes? Acá, over here. Ok, ahora bien, cuando ya hayan terminado unos, por lo menos unos cuatro. Ok, problemas. Acá en medio me van a colocar los problemas que ustedes reportan en común. Supongamos que si Elvi reporta que la computadora está frisada, ok, frozen screen, y Soyla también tiene un frozen screen, entonces acá en medio ustedes me van a escribir eso. Frozen screen significa que son las que ustedes tienen, o sea, es el mismo problema que ambas tienen. Okay, in medio. That's gonna be like the, the one that we're gonna be practicing, okay? In este caso, uno trabaja acá, la otra el otro lado, y en medio simplemente van a colocar la, los problemas que ustedes generalmente reportan, okay, y que tienen en común, okay? That's the thing that we're gonna be doing. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Ah, we're gonna go and work in the same pairs that we were working in the breakout rooms. I got the breakout rooms again. So let's go and work on them, right? Vamos a trabajar ahí. That way we can share ideas. Let's go there. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una pregunta. Ese es en base a lo que acabamos de decir de lo, de la, de lo, del, de lo del folleto o lo que nos pasa, digamos, en la empresa? No, a, a, acá, pues, básicamente lo que les pasa en la empresa. Puede ser. Uh -huh. Okay, gracias. Otros adicionales, okay? Gracias. Okay, cool. Let me see this porque me aparece en el sign. Echar una pregunta. Ajá. Eh, ¿El problema completa la oración o solamente el problema? ¿Cómo así? Digamos. No, así ay, como, así ay. como, así como estaba, así como estaba en la. En, la, en el folleto, en lo que acaba de hacer. Ah, en, la, en las ocho Exactly, mencionar de... los problemas ah, que sí. por lo generalmente usted solicita, exact, que, que solicita. Basados, en, llama... basados en el, en el en, trabajo, digamos. Exactly, en su trabajo. Unas cuatro. Eh, sí, por lo menos unas cuatro. Okay, ok, cool. One, and one. Vámonos a trabajar acá con, uh, vamos a trabajar Juan, Ivania y usted, Gilberto, ok, let's go and open up those things. Wendy, are you there? ¿Está ahí, Wendy? Hello. Sí, aquí estoy. Ah, dele a aceptar ahí para que nos veamos trabajar con Verónica, como estábamos. Te voy a dar aquí salas de grupos que se me quitó la... Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go there. 
de ley. Ok, Xiomara, ¿estás ahí? Ok, so everybody went to work there. Nice. También. Si son de impresión, si son de borrar archivos, si son de. Si yes. se los borran archivos, si las pantallas los congelan. Exactly. Y si los tres tienen uno en común, ponen la. Eh, esa que tienen en común en el, en el cuadro de en medio. En el cuadro de en medio, ok. That's correct. Okay, teacher. Nice. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher, no poder imprimir ah. o no poder enviar impresiones? Ok. The printer can't print. Ahorita se le escribe un mensaje. Uh -huh. The printer... Ya, ya, creo que ya lo entiende. <risa> ok. <risa> ok. Okay. Thank you, Pichin. Nice. You're welcome. Común entre nosotras dos. Cuando nos nos lo digamos, ya tiene los suyos. Hello, teacher. Hello, man. Let's go. 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 let Ah, vaya, según lo que me dijo aquí, compañero, pues como yo entré tarde, ¿va? me dijo que quiere este con el uso de I want y de I would. Yeah, aunque lo pueden hacer para no perder mucho tiempo, porque si sí, ya estamos cortos de tiempo, lo que pueden hacer es, como en los cuadritos que hicieron pues, con los números, uh, uh -huh. lo, puede, lo pueden reportar de esa manera. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Con el tema principal, ir directo uh -huh. al tema, uh -huh. para no, digamos, no crear muy, 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 muy grandes las operaciones. Y puse claro. este, miren, bien. Eh, I want to report no internet access. Mm -hmm. ¿Ven? Yes. Simple. I, I would like to check my speed internet. Ajá, ok. Ok. Entonces eso. Ahí llegó. Ajá, entonces. Vaya, entonces. Por lo menos tienen que ser cuatro. Ok, cuatro. Sí, sí, cuatro. Vaya, entonces. Si de esos cuatro tienen alguno que sea en común, lo van a colocar en la, en la, en la parte que está en medio, ¿ok? La línea de en medio. Va. Perfecto. Nice, Así que, uh, entonces sería, eh, en común, eh, no hay internet connection, va. No hay internet connection y el, el paper is to free printer. Esas dos, ¿verdad? En común. Sí. Ok, yo creo que ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Okay. Teacher, cuatro dijo, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, four. Okay. With four is okay. All right, I'm just going to be checking another group if it is completed. So we're going to go back, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Ok, how do you go? Sí. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Yo finish already? Ok, cool. Perfect. Voy a revisar aquí más nada más, ok. Ok. Just to see and then we're gonna go. Bye. Hi guys, you finish?
Yes. Okay, cool. Everybody has already finished. That's nice. So let's go back to the main section. Vámonos a la sala principal entonces. See you there. Wow. What happened? Everybody's coming. Everybody's coming. All right, Xiomara and Jose. Xiomara, what are the most common issues that you report in your work? The paper in the printer, change password, delete files, turn off the lights, and no internet access. Ah, okay, cool. Nice. Jose, read yours. Yes. No internet access, ni okay. software, a virus, pugni, pugni mouse in Funny the nice. CPU. Funny nice in the CPU, okay. Paper, sería, ¿cómo se dice el, el paper? Stuck. Paper, paper stuck. Pi paper stuck. Stock in printer. Okay, all right. So basically printer. you're talking about those things, right? That we were mentioning before. Okay, and then it's gonna be acceptable. Thank you, Jose. So the ones that are in commas are like like no internet access, right? And uh, there are a couple of more. Okay, but let's leave let's leave it like that. Thank you, Ansiomar and Jose. Now Jorge. Read the most common issues that you have. Uh, I would like to report an issues with my keyboard. Ah, with the keyboard. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, I have trouble with my computer. Mm, okay. Uh, I want to report a problem with my headsets. Ah, okay, with the headsets. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to report an issues with my Wi-Fi. The most common <laughs> the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. Oh, you were practicing with Carlos, right? Yes. Carlos Chavez. All right, Carlos. What are yours? Okay. I want to. I want to report. No internet access. Okay. I would like to check the router. Uh, I want to check my wireless connection. Okay. And the last one, I would like to check my speed internet. Okay, my speed of internet or internet speed. Sí. Can both ways can be. Okay, cool. There you go. So those are the ones. Okay. Which, one, which ones are the only ones that you have in common? I think is I want to report no internet access. Solo yes. quiero decir otra manera. Exactly. Uh, it's probably the Wi-Fi, right? So, but it's, it's likely the same. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now, Michelle. Let's read yours, Michelle. Um, uh, first thing is screen. Okay. Uh, no internet access. And no access in my email. And paper is through in print. Okay, cool. Y ese de no access to the emails es porque se le olvida la contraseña o porque la cambian? Um, porque no conecta a la BPS. <laughs> <laughs> y pasé así una semana. Como dos semanas pasé por mi un día no acceso. Yeah. That must be horrible. Ya yeah, imagino el estrés. Pero anyway, part of the work. Okay, cool. All right, Stephanie, who were you working with? Um, um, Cindy. Cindy, right? Conmigo. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, Cindy, mention the problems that you generally have. 
not no internet access. Okay. Uh, energy good. Nah, okay. Paper, a black yes. Paper stuck in the printer. Nah, okay. And I have problem why I hate a conditioning, algo así. Aire acondicionado. Ah, okay. Uh, simple. With the AC. AC is air conditioner. Ah, okay, okay. AC. Problems with the AC. Okay. Super nice. Uh, you don't have that much things in common, right? With Michelle. You don't have much in common with Michelle. Solo paper is true in printer. Yeah, man, that's the only yeah. one. Okay. okay, cool. That's going to be like the only one. All right. Thank you, Michelle and Cindy. You did it excellent. Now, Soila. Hi. I woke up, no, man. No, I woke no, you no, up, right? No, no, I'm still sleeping. 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 I'm can you read your issues? I mean, read the common problems that you generally have. Le leo los otros. Huh? No, que me, le leo los otros. ¿Qué me quiso hacer? Sí, 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 que lea los, los problemas que comúnmente usted tiene en su trabajo. Los míos. Yes. Va, es que con, va, los míos son bad connection in my computer. No, ok. Fight in equipment. Mm -hmm. Fight in the inf infrastructure occasional, ¿verdad? Cuando existe alguna falla. Ah, ok, ok. Um, paper, paper stuff in printer. Es que okay. es el único en compón que tuvimos con Julio. Ah, ok, cool. Uh -huh. Those are the most right? Ok, cool, Soyla, thank you. Uh -huh. Now, Julio, okay. how about you? Uh, no internet access, uh, problem access files, uh, paper is took and printed, okay. e access software accounting problem. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, generally the new softwares, they give problems. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Julio, thank you. Uh, let me see who else. Veronica. My problem. And Wendy, right? Yeah, okay. Um, my problems, no access email. The printer can print. No internet access and frozen screen. Ah, okay, cool. What are the ones that you have in common with uh, Wendy? Veronica? ¿Cuáles son los comunes que tiene con Wendy? Ah, eh, internet access and the printer can print. Ah, ok. All right. Cool. Wendy, read yours. Eh, a problem with one branch office. The staff is very difficult. Ah, ok. Eh, I have a problem with my printer. I have a problem with my pencil. I lost. <laughs> you lost your pencil. <laughs> okay. O sea, que usted no era de las que... ¿Cómo? No, era, no, no es de las que llega al trabajo sin lapicero y viene con siete. No. Ah. Este... <laughs> Algo así. Ah. Y después lo busco. Ay, no, qué feo. <risa> ok, ajá. Bien oh. sabe, ¿verdad? <risa> yes, man, I was an student. Am amarrado en el escritorio, es que te da. <risa> exactly, <risa> man. Yes, yo por eso les ponía nombrecitos, les ponía un papelito adentro y el nombre, y a veces así andaban rolando. Este es mío, no, decían es mío. Miren, mi nombre aquí está. 
Okay, Wendy, thank you. Okay, good. Let's continue. Um, let me see who's missing. Gilberto. Yes, teacher. Okay. What are the most common problems that you generally have, man? I have problem with paper stuck in printer. Okay. I have I have problem with uh, no internet access. No internet access. Okay, you don't have internet access. Okay, I have I have problem with deleting files. Ah, okay, cool. Delete files. Thank you, Gilberto. All right, by the way, who were you working with? Solamente eso. Ah, no, man. Who were you working with? ¿Quién estaba con usted? Yo. Ah, esas son las que tenemos en común. Juan ah, Campos yeah. y Ivania. Ah, okay, cool. Those are the ones that you got in common. Cool. Thank las, you, que, las que dijo Gilberto son las que teníamos en común. Ah, okay, cool. ¿Quién me yours, Ivania? Las mías. Yes, las que no son comunes. Uh, eh, new software. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y delete files. Delete files. Delete files. Sí. Nosotros sí las teníamos en común. Ah, ok, cool, cool. Juan, how about you? Uh, en común are delete cookies. Ajá. Uh -huh. And also product with the VPN. Ah, okay, product with the VPN. No, right, that's, that's gonna be like kind of different, right? All right. So it's similar to have uh, access to it, to internet, mm -hmm. but you can visit sideways to the enterprise. That's the, that's the mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, that's awesome. All right, thank you, Mr. Cool. You participated, Karen, with Elby? No, right? No. Okay, cool. Uh, 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 Karen, read yours. Problems receiving emails. Okay. No internet connection. Uh huh. Paper stuck in printer and okay. a slow computer. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's stressing having a slow computer. Ah, super stressing. Okay, cool. Elvi? No internet access. UPS problems. Uh -huh. Papers to printer. New software. Ah, okay. Eh, en común, tenemos no internet access. Y okay. paper stuck in printer. Paper stuck in printer. Okay, very good. There you go, Elvi. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let me see who else missing. Carlos Gamero? Who are you practicing with, mister? Okay. Conmigo. Ah, okay, perfect. Will Let's go. A paper stock in printer. No internet access. Okay. New software. Común, eso son en común. Yeah. Very common. All right. William? Eh, la que no tuvimos en común, delete files. Delete de files. Ahí, ahí I have a problem no internet access. Eh, paper stop in print, the new software. Es la que tuvimos en común con Carlos. Ah, okay. So basically the same things, right? Okay. <laughs> That's nice. All right. Which group has not participated? ¿Hay alguna pareja que no me ha participado? Uh, I think everybody has already participated. Yeah, I creo que sí, a todos. Like, we did it, everybody, okay? By tomorrow, we're going to continue with this thing. Mañana vamos a tener un poco el uso de la explicación de cómo usar el would like to, especialmente en cómo crear preguntas. And, like, you know, I like had to know that structure deeper. Uh, one thing before we go, people. Una cosa antes de irnos. Recuerden, si reciben la... la Encuesta de satisfacción en el grupo de WhatsApp porque la van a recibir en su WhatsApp y no en el grupo, sino en su WhatsApp personal y en, a través de correo. 
por favor, simplemente me lo hace saber en el, en el grupo. Teacher, ya recibí la encuesta de satisfacción, pero no la van a hacer. Recuerden, la vamos a hacer el viernes en la clase. Porque es un requerimiento que, que, que así lo han solicitado los de eh, Insafor, ¿ok? Porque esa encuesta solo se hace una vez, solo se puede hacer una vez. Y si cometemos un error, uh, we're going to have problems. Entonces, para evitarnos inconvenientes, así que lo vamos a hacer el jueves acá en clase, ¿ok? That's going to be like, you know, like the things that I, I would like to say. Now I'm going to pass the attendance fee. Voy a pasar asistencia because it's time. Give me one second. Carlos Mauricio. Present teacher. Good nice. night. Good night, Mr. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Good night. Uh, excellent. Nice. Stephanie Michelle. Michelle, are you there? Michelle. Present. Ah, okay, Michelle. Thank you. Present. Uh, Present. <laughs> yeah, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, I listen to you. Ya la ya, ya la escuchamos. Okay. No lo escuchamos. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Ya por 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 si quedaban dudas, verdad? Como cuatro presents. Okay, that's cool, man. That's cool. Let's continue. Ivania Yamilet. Present, teacher. Excellent, Jorge Alberto. Present, teachers. Okay, nice, Jose Antonio. Present. Perfect, Jose Edgar. I, I mean, you say present in the comments. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, cool, Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Excellent. Let me see, Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay, mister. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. Present. All right, nice. Let's move. Luis Gerardo, he didn't show up today. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. All right, listen, listen. By the way, since I was working with Gerardo last class. Uh, ya tuve los 10 minutos de feedback con usted, ¿verdad, Verónica? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Wendy, today is going to be your 10 minutes feedback, okay? Stay with me. Bye, está bien. Perfect. Nice. Uh, William Ernesto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, mister. Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara, is she there? Okay. She's not, she's not there. All right, Luis Jonathan. Okay, Luis Jonathan has problems because he disconnected. Uh, Carlos Jose. Present teacher, good night. Good night, mister. And the last one, Soyle Guadalupe. Good night, teacher. See okay. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, people. Good night. Have a wonderful, you know, like, night. Bless you and see you tomorrow. Cuídense. Nos vemos mañana, okay? Pórtense bien. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, All right. Good night teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later. See you later, man. Thank you. Okay. See you. Bye. All right. So, Wendy, as you know, estos 10 minutos son básicamente para uh, aclarar cualquier duda que usted puede tener con relación a esta clase o clases anteriores. Right? So, así que, if you have any question, I'm all ears. Si tiene preguntas, soy todo oídos. Bye. Yeah, I mean, let's check everything. La clase de los comandos, creo que fue una clase en la que no estuve. Ajá. Eh, como para decir acciones, ¿verdad? 
Yes, en ese, en esa, sí, exactamente. Uh -huh. Esos es los comandos es como cuando usted da una orden. Que generalmente cuando usamos un comando o usamos, eso se les conoce como, ¿cómo mm, se dice? Yeah, like giving an order, giving a command, right? Generalmente se usan básicamente cuando damos, como le digo, una indicación, una orden a, a alguien, ¿ok? Se les conoce mm, como okay. in, imperatives, imperativos. Entonces, acá no es necesario de mencionar un nombre de persona o poner un I, you, he, she, we, you, they. No es necesario. Simplemente se coloca el verbo y lo que usted quiere mencionar o dar como indicación o ya sea orden. Por ejemplo, si usted está en su casa y le dice a alguien ahí, ah, cierra la puerta. Entonces, close the door. Esa es una orden o un comando o un imperativo, como nosotros le llamamos. Open the door. Ah, abre la puerta. You know, go to work. Ah, ve a trabajar. You see, go home. Ve a casa. Watch TV. Ah, ve televisión. So you see, entonces, esa es la forma en cómo lo hacemos. Generalmente iniciamos eh, mencionando el verbo con el que vamos a indicar la acción. Ok. Sí. Ya, yeah. entonces yeah. normalmente. Aquí no necesita un, un subject. Nada de he, nada de she, nothing. Okay, here is mostly first person. Acá es básicamente el uso de la, you know, like, por así decirlo, primera persona. Wendy, are you there? Are you there, Wendy? Hello, Lassie. I am, and I, I, I was having some problems with the internet, but now we are back. Uh, I was, as I was mentioning, no sé hasta dónde me logró escuchar. Sí, porque me sacó la cosa esto. ¿Hasta dónde eh, me logró escuchar? Pues le escuché todo, le escuché que me dijo de que donde estábamos dando una orden, uh -huh. algo que solo había que poner el verbo, uh -huh. eh, más complemento, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, that's, that's okay. pretty cool. Vamos a hacer un repaso así chiquitito de de a ver ¿De qué? El presente continuo. Ah, el presente continuo, claro que sí. ¿En qué aspecto? Porque estuvimos viendo para futuro, para acciones en el instante, y también en forma de preguntas. Futuro e instante. Ah, vaya. Vaya, mire, para formar el futuro, vaya, primero que nada, la estructura del presente continuo es un tanto sencilla. ¿Por qué? Va, mire, en el presente continuo generalmente lo único que necesitamos es un, en una oración positiva, subject, un sujeto, ¿ok? El verbo be. Sí. Verb be. Este el verbo to be. Recordemos, tiene que ir ya sea con am, is o are. Cualquiera sí. de los tres. Luego, ok, plus main verb, verbo principal, pero este verbo principal tiene que ir en ing. Ok, plus the complement. Sí. Más el complemento. Por ejemplo, I am, look at this, I am explaining the present progressive to you. Ah, estoy explicando el presente progresivo a ti. Ok. En este caso, esta acción, esta acción, Wendy, está haciendo en el instante. Ok. En el instante que yo estoy hablando. Ok. Por ejemplo, usted me puede decir, usted me puede decir, I am listening to you. Ah, te estoy escuchando. I am listening to you. Una acción en el instante, ¿ok? Usted puede decir, the teacher is speak, es el verbo. Pero acá como está pidiendo que tiene que ser en ING, la agregamos. 
The teacher is speaking English. Ah, el profesor está hablando inglés. So you see, es una acción que se hace en el instante, ¿ok? okay. Entonces, para sí. eso es que necesitamos la estructura. Ahora bien, ¿cómo formar esta, esto en, digamos, en futuro? ¿Cómo hablar sobre acciones a futuro? Mire, es bastante sencillo. ¿Por qué? Porque lo ah, único no, que necesitamos, lo único que necesitamos Ajá. son las time expressions. Expresiones de tiempo. ¿Cuáles son esas? Tomorrow. Tonight. Next week. Next month. Next year. You see? These ones. Next sí. weekend. All right. Entonces, estas son las time expressions que podemos usar para, para crear la oración a futuro. Va, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, I am explaining the topic. I am explaining the topic. Estoy explicando el tema. Esta es una acción en el instante, ¿ok? Al momento que yo estoy hablando, ahorita. Ahora bien, pero si yo digo, uh -huh. tomorrow, I am explaining the yo topic estaré. tomorrow. Uh -huh. Ah, estaré explicando el tema mañana. Si ve, acá solo le agrego el tomorrow y ya es básicamente la acción deja de ser en el instante y se transforma en una acción a futuro, que va a estar pasando uh -huh. a futuro. Exacto. Y ahí va a depender usted de, de la time expression que usted use. Así va a ser si es bien próxima a la acción o se va a tardar varios días o varias semanas. Ok. Ya, yeah, entonces, oh, sí. simplemente agregando una time expression al final. Ahí estamos expresando futuro. Cuando ya no le agrega time expressions, entonces es una acción en el instante. Ok, hoy oh, sí. Ok, perfecto. Estás ahí entre clases y trabajando. <risa> <risa> ok, cool. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta, Wendy? ¿Algo que no esté del todo claro? Eh, no, todo está bien ya. Ah, ok, cool. Sí. Con las tareas siempre vamos, vamos bien, ¿verdad? Sí, vamos al día. Ah, perfecto, me alegra. No voy a hacer <risa> ok, perfecto, eso me alegra. Entonces, cualquier duda, igual ahí estamos en, la, en, el, en el chat de WhatsApp. Entonces, y cualquier duda que tengamos acá cuando estemos explicando, simplemente enciende el micrófono y pregunte, ¿ok? Va, de acuerdo, gracias, Per Muy amable. Perfecto, Wendy, perfecto. Entonces, espero que tenga una excelente noche, si ya no hay nada más que agregar. Y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Adiós. Okay, Buenas noches. Bien. Good night, Wendy. Bye-bye.